Hello, I'm Dr. Heidi Horsley, Executive Director for the Open to Hope Foundation, and I'm here today with Dr. Brooke Greasy. Brooke, could you tell us a little about yourself? Oh, hi, I'm uh, Executive Director of Judy's House, uh, which is a comprehensive center for grieving children and families in Denver, Colorado. Um, we, uh, my husband Brian Greasy and I co-founded Judy's House in 2002 in memory of his mother Judy who died when he was 12 of breast cancer. Wow, I love that you and your husband have you know, started this organization and I know that you work with children, right? Tell us a little bit about how children heal after a loss. So um, at Judy's House, we're able to serve about a thousand individuals a year. It's the children and their caregivers. They come as a whole family. And I think that the most important piece of what they find when they come to Judy's House is that they can connect with other kids who are going through a similar experience and have amazing professionals, caring adults that are there to help them find coping skills and ways to not only integrate this loss into their life, but to find meaningful ways to remain connected to the person who died and to, to have that support that they need, but also um, find ways to cope with this tremendous loss. I love what you're saying, because it's not only about healing after a loss, it's how do we keep loved ones in our lives, stay connected even after they've died. And are there certain rituals and things that kids can do to, to do this? And we have a lot of rituals built into what we do. Kids love consistency, predictability, and, and rituals. And so um, we um, utilize a cairn symbolism because cairns have been used throughout time both to help one another find our way. That's why we call our program Pathfinders is because they're helping one another find their way, but also to memorialize the person who died. And um, they've been used throughout time in that way. And so one of the traditions is that at the end of each group, the kids and the adults will add a stone to their own group cairn and think about the person, say something about the person, and really think about the ways that they are staying connected and, and remembering that person and, and holding them in their life. Mine was 12 when his mom died. Um, so he's, he's lived this journey. And when, when, um, when he found himself with a platform in the NFL as, as a quarterback in the NFL, um, what he really knew he wanted to do was to find a way to support other kids who felt lost, alone, afraid, angry, whatever they were experiencing when they lost someone they loved. And to help them know they weren't alone with this experience because so many kids feel that they're the only child who's lost a parent or a sibling or a loved one, which is how he felt when he was 12 years old and, and coping with this all alone in his mind. And so um, we knew and he knew that we could create a space and an ability and a, and a place for kids to connect with each other and for their caregivers, which is such an important piece of this. We work at the whole family because this is a family issue. The whole family is grappling with this loss and the parents have such, and caregivers have such a tremendous opportunity to support their kids in finding a healthy way to adjust after this loss. Well, I love what you and your husband have done, and I love all the people that you're helping, and you really have created a safe space. And the other thing that's very important to us is that we have the data to show that this works and, that, and, and to really understand the needs, the unique individualized needs of the kids that we're serving. And so we have a large-scale research and evaluation initiative built into our programs so that we've integrated research into our practice to better understand those needs, to better meet those needs, and to continually refine our programs and inform the field about what works for whom and, and how can we best support um, all of the grieving children and families that could utilize support if it's available to them. I love what you're doing and if there's kids out there that need you and that have had a loss and families that have had a loss, how do they find you? Our website is www.judyshouse.org and we have resources available there as well as information about how to connect with services. Wow, thank you so much and if you've lost hope, please lean in on ours. This is the Open to Hope Foundation.